What's up everybody? How y'all doing? All right. I'm just going to talk about my brief experience with the MSI Claw. First, when the leak came out that MSI was coming out with a gaming handheld, I was very excited because MSI, I like them. I like the gaming laptops, even though it have a few issues, but I like the fact that they're jumping into the handheld, handheld business. So with more competition, we lead to more innovation. And especially when the leak state that it was going to come out with 32 gigabytes of RAM, that makes me even more excited. And then when they finally announced that they're coming out with a handheld device, they say it's coming out with 16 gigabytes instead of 32, which is kind of ridiculous. All right. Another thing that um, disappoints me that um, that it comes out with the same device as the RG Ally. But I like it because I like the fact that it comes out with a black. It's cool. It feels good. I like the black, but if you're gonna make your presence known in the in the handheld gaming business, do something different. Come up with a very um exciting device. Do something to stand out from the rest. Don't try to be like this like everybody else, which is kind of ridiculous. It comes with the same power button like the ROG Ally with the fingerprint sense, fingerprint scanner, and one US USB Type C port, which is kind of which is kind of ridiculous. To charge somebody eight hundred dollars, at least put one more USB Type C port or something. Give us something, something extra. Um, in terms of um, gaming, it's one of the worst experience I ever have on a gaming handheld. Cause I had the RG Ally, I had the Legion Go, and both of them give me great gaming experience. Maybe because of the power of the AMD Z1 Extreme, where you where they have so much software update. And one thing I like about those two devices, they they both give you the ability to increase the VRAM so the game flows smoothly without no stuttering and you get decent FPS. Whatever games you whatever games you, you play on this thing. And with this one right here, it uses Intel Ultra Core 7 155H. And this thing is bottlenecked like crazy. Um this also comes with 8 gigabytes of VRAM, but they dedicate only 128 megabytes and the 8 is shared among whatever it is so intel is a, is a, is a main is a main is a, is a main head of this thing even with ms even with the msi center with the msi center it just gives you some basic features that you can use and tweak but not the ability to change the amount of vram you can use like the rg ally and the legion go is is integrated inside in, inside Intel and Intel only give you what they think you need, which is kind of ridiculous. So I don't think even if MSI send out software update to boost up the improve the performance, if you're gonna do well. If you cannot increase the VRAM, you're gonna have problems. And I think that's one of the main reasons why the games are so stuttery. The games don't flow smoothly, and especially some games to play, for example. I play Spider-Man Miles Morales a lot, even though it's an old game. But it crashes every five seconds because it says it does not have enough memory. As I'm going to show you right here. No memory, it doesn't have enough memory. So, and it tells you to lower some things. Even when you lower, lower the screen to 720p and 60 hertz, it still crashes like crazy. God of War. I played that game and I did not enjoy the experience. It was slow and staticky. Every game I played was slow and staticky. Only time, only thing I enjoy about this is watching YouTube videos or Netflix. That's 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 what I do mostly with this thing since I can't have a good gaming experience. And I tell you, the screen is just one of the worst in my opinion. Because look at it. It has some very thick bezels on the top. Very thick bezels on the side, a very thick bezel on the bottom. They could have just stretch out the whole thing. Made the, they could have stretch out the entire thing, and give us maybe like a eight point four or whatever it is. Or if they want, slap for eight hundred bucks, slap in a two K screen at least. But a ten eighty p, it may work with some with some people, and it may be the best choice right now to run games at ten eighty p because not much games on a handheld would, is going to run four K or two K. So I think 1080p was ideal, but at least use up the entire screen. Don't leave us with all these bezels. That's that's just that's just insane. 
and um, it has so many features. It got so many features in the MSI Center. You can um, adjust different um, windows, like tiles, whatever it is, and we can have control where you can select the f the frame monitor. You can select the the hertz. It got those features, but that what I think is very nice. Where you can go into the go into the option right here and select what you want. So it's right here at the, at your finger at your finger um, tip. See, say you want to look at the monitor. Boom, you can select it, and then you can see all the things for the hertz, all what whatever you want. And also you can you can adjust it from HD to FHD, which I think is cool. But gaming, no matter what you do, you're still gonna have a terrible gaming experience. That's the only thing. Most people buy gaming handheld so they can just keep back in the corner. Don't even don't, they don't have to think about okay what 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 I gotta do to get a best my best gaming gaming experience all they want to do is just fire up their handheld device keep back and just play now this one is like it's like you, i don't know what to say it's just ridiculous you got to try to find different things so you can play so you can have a comfortable gaming experience and you just can't it works best if you're playing emulator games or play emulators where it does not demand so much then it shines but for next gen titles triple a titles it is not meant for it maybe that's maybe that was maybe that was their main goal so just for people that that's going to play um games that low that's low graphically wise or whatever you want to call it but for person that like to play the triple a games the call of duty the spider-man man morales the spider-man remastered all the triple a games it is going to get, it's going to make you want to pull your hair out it's terrible it's terrible so there's more i want to say but I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, but my personal experience is not great. Would I recommend it? No. What I would do as a consumer, just give it a couple months. I'll say give it three months. Keep on watching other YouTubers who have this device and, and keep, keep up with them to see if MSI make any improvements on the performance. But I don't see it's going to work anytime soon because since Intel is controlling the, 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 the usage of the VRAM, it's not going to make any sense. Unless Intel send out a software update where you can have, the, where you can have control, where you can uh, control to select the amount of VRAM that you can use so you can have a better gaming experience, that's fine. But other than that, MSI, I don't think MSI is going to be able to do it and you're not going to, it's not going to get better. I believe what you see is what you get. Intel may do some little upgrades right here to tweak up the screen quality and other and other little other little performance. But in terms of giving you more VRAM, giving you the ability to select more VRAM like the ASUS RG Ally and the Legion Go with, with the BIOS update, it's not gonna happen. I could be wrong, but I don't see it happening because Intel bottleneck this thing like crazy. Comfort wise, it feels very good in the hands and uh, how it designed, but the buttons, the trigger buttons, just feels so feels too soft. So I wouldn't even mess with it. So personally, if I were MSI, I probably would recall a lot of this bad boy here and uh, probably just slap in an i9. Maybe the uh, uh, Intel i9 would work better. Other than that, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't waste your time with this thing right here. Personally, don't do it. All right. So anyhow, that's just my brief thoughts on this MSI Claw. I hope I hope you can get something out of it, so you can help you to make a decision. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.